Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Slack account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a new channel in your Slack? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a new channel in Slack anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that it's important to keep your project separated and by setting up separate channels for whatever project you're working on is a good way to organize that communication. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Slack account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a written instructions there as well, but I've already opened up my Slack account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a new channel in Slack, there's actually two different ways you can do it. The first and easiest way from your home screen, what you're going to do is look down here to your channels. So you can see I have a general channel, a random channel, and a server site revision channel. So I'm not sure what that is. And then right below it, you're going to see this add channels. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. So once you do that, you can go ahead and click on create new channel. Now, if for some reason you don't see this on your home screen, you can easily look right down here on the bottom left. This is the second way you can add a channel. Click on the plus icon and then you're going to see a drop down menu and then click on this button. Start a group conversation by topic channel. It has a little pound sign next to it. Okay. Either way you decide to create a channel in your Slack, it's going to bring you here. So first, what you're going to do is go ahead and name your channel. So for example, if your Slack workspace is about food, let's say maybe this channel, we're going to have information about Chinese food. So I'll go ahead and just type in Chinese food. Okay. So when you do a space bar, it's going to give you that dash. Don't worry. Uh, unless you'd prefer not to have the dash, you can go ahead and delete that and we'll just name it Chinese food. All right. Once you have named your new channel in Slack, click on next. Okay. So now you get to choose the privacy settings for your new channel in Slack. So you can go ahead and make it public. So of the users that are in your workspace, will be able to see this channel. So if you need this to be more of a private channel, like maybe you only want to talk about Chinese food with your co-founder, you want to make this private. And then that way you can go ahead and invite only into that channel. It's not going to be public to everyone inside of your Slack. So your assistants aren't going to be able to see it. The salespeople aren't going to be able to see it. And once you're ready to go ahead and create your channel in Slack, click on this green create button. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and invite people into this channel. All you're going to do is enter their name on Slack, or you can easily just enter in their email for me. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. And now you can see under the list of channels here on the left. So I have general and it has the pound sign next to it. I also have this channel that we just created in Slack called Chinese food. And to the left of it, you can see it has a lock. So again, the only folks that can see it are people who I have invited to that channel. If I didn't do that, then it would just be a general channel with a pound sign. So anybody inside of my workspace would be able to view that channel in Slack. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create a new channel in Slack, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.